Hi, I'm Rodolfo Facundo, and I'll be talking about gravitational force. What is it? Gravitational force attracts two bodies together based on the product of their masses and the reciprocal of the square of their distances. Gravity is the force field created by one massive body, like the Earth, which another body, like you, will experience. In physics, gravity is a natural force that causes things to fall toward the Earth. The formula for gravitational force is F gravity is equal to the G times M1 times M2 divided by the distance squared. So F gravity equals force due to gravity. The G equals universal gravitational constant. M1 is the mass of the first object. M2 is the mass of the second object. And D is the distance between the two objects. For example, the classic example of gravitational force is that of an apple falling from a tree. Gravitation is responsible for keeping the Earth and the planets in their orbits around the sun. An object's weight is different on the moon than on Earth because gravitational pull is less. Next, I'll be talking about strong nuclear force. What is it? Strong nuclear force is the force that holds particles together in the atomic nucleus and the force that holds quarks together in elementary particles. The strongest one in the strong nuclear force, which is responsible for keeping the nuclei of atoms together. The strong nuclear force pulls the protons together. Strong nuclear interaction. At the range of 10 to the negative 15 power meters, the strong force is approximately 137 times as strong as electromagnetism, a million times as strong as a weak interaction, and 10 to the 38th power times as strong as gravitation. And on the image, you can see fundamental forces of the strong electromagnetic weak and gravity. You have the protons and neutrons of how they pull away to, from each other, the strength, the range, and the particles. Examples. Strong nuclear force only works when it is as close to a proton as a diameter of a proton or a neutron. Protons inside of a nucleus of an atom all have positive electrical charge, so they push away from each other. It's hard for two protons to get that close together because their positive charges tend to push them away from each other.